I say you are living here. Amen. 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 I'm no longer knowing which one is a demon between you and me. Brother, can you go aside? I say you are leaving him. You hear me? You hear me? You spirit. You hidden demon. Leave him. Come on. Come on. Out. Hey, you demon. In Jesus' name. So you know him. Eh? How do you know him? We went to going to Siamba Swanging Bonds. We're going to get that to the same church. So your surprise is like this. So your man is going to my surprise. I'm so happy to see it. We have Vuya. Very much. I want to thank God indeed. Come on. Let me touch you. Come on. You demon. Come on. Come on. Come on. They're good together in one church. They're fellowshipping together. So you are going to one church? Yes, sir. Now you're what are you doing in one church? We are Christians. You've done a very good thing. We arrive at last. This is the last place. This is the last bus stop. This is the last bus stop, this one. Where do you come from? We are a Mosul Bay. It is very close to church. Mosul Bay near next to George Western Cape. It's okay. West Ham. West Ham Cape. Cape. So, where, where is my brother? Upuput. You, you never thought you've got a demon. Like you were here. Demon, eh? I suspected. He you suspected. 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 Yes. Because of the life you are living. Yes. So, where is your wife? Upuma. I don't have a wife. You don't have a wife. I don't have one. You have a demon. So that demon is the one who's blocking your brain. But today there's a breakthrough that is coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm praying. I'm very happy for you. Thank you, Jesus. There are some people that need deliverance so that they deliver other people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I receive. So, so you are the one. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You hear me? My brother Uvienga Kool. Brother is so happy. My brother Uvienga Kool, so don't be surprised. He, he loves God so much. This man loves God so much. It's not just crying. They are not about calling. You see, they are crying, all of them. You see, yes. both of them are then, crying. Yes, sir. Yeah, because this brother knew that if they come here, something but will happen. Yes. Yes. I, knew. Yes. I knew for sure. I knew for sure. And I'm being a cool. I'm being a cool because I'm not feeling up. And I'm a bit here. God is now working in you. Let me touch you. Amen. You are living here. Amen. You are living here. You see, you want to fight me. Now he wants to fight. <coughs> so where's What are you doing then? Huh? Where's What are you doing then? The huh? so I make so him suffer. So good is. I make him to I suffer. I make him struggle. Why are, so good, Why are you making him to suffer? Even his family is struggling. And they will struggle. So why did it close that he doesn't reach him? I tried to discourage him. Discourage I made him fight with him. Did you fight? 
Benelwa. Jim. Concerning coming. Yes. Sir. So you didn't want to come. We what were, was happening? We Which were fighting. Didn't want to come. Huh? We, 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 we were not agreeing on one, one thing. We were fighting. We were so fighting, not getting to an agreement. What were you not disagreeing? What you were disagreeing about? For not coming here. For not we were speaking about yes. not coming. So I'm asking the same question. Was he not agreeing not to come here? He is the one who forced me to come here. He is the one who forced me to come here. He is the one who forced me to come here. He didn't want to come. I want to come, but I was struggling with the finance. I was so, having a problem of finance. Wam so good is. So you are making him to struggle. Huh? It was so good is. You're making him to struggle. You can see even his family. Even his family struggling. Na sem dele ne ya so good. So how are you related to him? Manje, how about you? We are all brothers from the same church, sir. We are just brothers from the same so church. Your wife? Uh, we're not yet married, but she's my Not yet married. She's a fancy? Yes. Uh, a fancy. But you want to marry her? Yeah, absolutely, sir. When? Nene. Um, God will tell. I'm waiting on God to tell me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God will tell you. Yes, I appreciate it. Chair. You don't have money to marry? Not at this point, sir. Huh? Not at this point. You want to marry him? Yes, sir, I do. Or God will tell you also. I could marry him any time, huh? sir. I could marry him any time. You get married? Any time. You want to marry any What time? What about you, sir? Any time, sir. Are you not waiting upon God? God, God can speak to me any time, sir. That's why I'm saying I'm waiting on him. That's why I can't get Oh, you have money to marry, but you are waiting for God. Say yes or no. Yes, sir. Say yes or no. Say yes or no. Yes, sir. So, what is so good, sir? So, you make him suffer. So, what is so good, sir, with the family? You make him suffer with the whole family. So, I'm destroying all your tools. So, I'm destroying all your tools. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. He's free. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. How do you feel? I feel very good. It's like at the bottom of my stomach. It was like I was having cramps. It's like my stomach was full of air. Congratulations, my brother. Amen. See these people that. Do you leave him? Come on. Leave him. I leave him. It's a lion. Come on. If we don't pray for him, he won't marry this man. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are free. Kulegi. Greetings to all the viewers in the wonderful name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching Charis TV. And beside me, I'm with our brothers all the way from Western Cape who came to attend our live deliverance service. And they'll be telling us what God has done upon their lives as the man of God was ministering healing and deliverance upon their lives. Our Papa, can you tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Toban Mbomboza from Mosul Bay. Our Papa, can you also introduce yourself? 
Uh, my name is Kobane Tebeshe, all the way from Western Cape in the town called Mosa Bay. Uh, Papa, you can tell us what is it that made you to travel from Western Cape to come and attend our live delivering service today? I was having a, a, a chronic depression. And then my brother told me that we must come here in Charis Missionary Church. Uh, Papa, you can also tell us what is it that made you to come and attend with us our delivering service today? Uh, I was looking for the deliverance because due to the uh, recurrence of struggle, because we were struggling, the whole family, we were struggling, we needed deliverance. Yes. Uh, Papa, can you tell us if what the man of God has prophesied concerning your life was true or not? It was true. It was very true. He said, I love God. It's very true. I love God. Can you tell us in which areas in your life were you searching for deliverance? I went to hospital in, 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 in Western Cape, in Cape Town. And then they said, they give me the, the, the tablets. They said, I must eat. I was under the medication on that process. But my brother told me that I, we must come here in Charis Missionary Church for deliverance. Amen. Uh, so, Papa, you can tell us what is it that made you to say that, you know what, this situation that my brother is telling me, it needs to be uh, sought out by God. And then you say that you should come here and see the men of God on one and one. Tell us what is it that encouraged you to do so? Yeah, actually, uh, the story is very long because the uh, way I work, uh, sometimes I work night shift. Sometimes I go to YouTube. Uh, I, uh, I downloaded there. If I found that, uh, I, I use... I, 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 I found out that when I downloaded, I, I, I saw the, 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 this church, uh, Charis Missionary Church. Something told me that I must just go through it. Then when I look, I saw uh, the people, they were getting delivered. And then uh, to, to, to the delivered, to, to, by, by, by the way they were delivered, I, I related their problems to my problem also. Since I know he is close to me, I noticed if he can come here, our problem also will be over. Jesus. And with this deliverance that you have received today, what is it that you want to encourage other people out there that are watching Charis TV? I want to encourage people that they must come here. This is their last stop. Their solution will be solved here. Their problem. Uh, Papa, we thank God for your lives. And I believe that this deliverance is permanent. Just go home and glorify the goodness of God for what he's done upon your life. And we'll come back again to this place to give a testimony in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love you so much. Greetings in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching Charis TV. And beside me, I'm with my brother and my sister, all the way from Western Cape, who came to attend with us our Sunday live Sunday service. They'll be introducing themselves towards us. Uh, Papa, can you tell us your name and where you from? Um, my name is Nyani Somandindi. I'm um, coming from, East, uh, from Western Cape, actually, but I'm originally from Eastern Cape. Uh, my sister, you can also introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Hilda Khuda, and I'm from Maslba in the Western Cape. You can tell us the reason that made you to travel from Western Cape to Charis Missionary Church. Yeah, we, we, we had, oh, I'll speak about me. I had some spirit that have been tormenting me. Spirit that um, made me love so many girls, you know. So yeah, um, that's we have learned that when the man of God was prophesying concerning the spirit, can you tell us more about the prophecy that he prophesied? The prophecy was correct. Yeah, it was correct. Um, and what exactly was it correct? Say again. What exactly? Um, when he, he said, um, "I'm a guy that likes a um, lot of women." Yeah, he mentioned. Um, something about a slender woman that I'm sharing with her. Yes, I agree, but it was not something that I have um, done it officially, you know. And he was 100% correct when he said, I'm a bit confused, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's all I can declare now. Uh, so my brother, as we heard from the men of God, or this, uh, the person that is next to you is the person that you want to marry. So can you tell us how was your situation affecting you together with the person that you want to get married to? Uh, you, you see, you're speaking um, with regards to the, the prophecy. Um, no, um, my intention is still on. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed because I love it dearly, you know. I love her dearly, so yeah, I'm still planning to marry her. 
you know, because I know she's, she has a good heart, you know, and I've been praying to God so that God can give me a person with a good heart, a person who will serve me, who will serve God together with me, you know. And I believe she's a, she's a right person for me. She's that person, yeah. My brother, how was your situation of humanizing affecting the relationship between the person that you want to get married to? Oh, yeah, yeah, badly, badly. Because at times we would fight um, in my house. Yeah, she would get very angry at me, you know. But because that she loved me so much, she never left me. But I could see in her eyes and in her behavior that she's very angry, you know. Yeah. I see my sister, you can furthermore tell us about the situation. How was the situation between you and the man that you want to get married to? Um, it was affecting me very much because I was keeping secrets at times. And he was very hung up on his phone. So I knew that there was something, but I wasn't sure what it was. So, yeah. Now, as the man of God has said that you should set a date where you can go and marry the woman that you want to get married to. Tell, can you tell us how are you going to go about this situation? Uh, okay, um, I think that I think that we'll discuss it, me and her. Then we'll set um, a date that we think is, is the best. You know, yeah, because I haven't I haven't heard her saying anything about it. You know, so that's why I'm saying. That decision must be a joint decision. I saw my sister, as God has seen you through today, that he was able to stand for your relationship with the person that you want to get married to. Can you tell us what is it that you believe God is going to do as from today? As from today, I believe um, he's going to make us even prosper even more within our jobs. And all that we were struggling with, I believe he's going to come through for us. Uh, my brother, with this deliverance that you have received today, what is it that you're going to do in your life that will sustain this deliverance that you have received today? Um, I'll make sure that um, I make God a standard for my life. I'll leave everything. I'll surrender my all because that was my prayer actually when I came here. That God take all of me and give me all of you. That's all I can declare. Yes. Uh, so my sister, as finally God has seen you through, and then now you know where you are standing, what is it now that you're going to do to sustain what God has started to do in your relationship today? Um, I'm going to put you more in my relationship. From the morning when we wake up till the night when we go to sleep, He's always going to be present within us. And just be honest with each other. Yeah, and honest to God. Yeah. So my brother, what is it now that you like to encourage other people out there, most especially people who were in the same situation that you were before you came into this place? To our viewers, we all need um, to put God first in everything that we do. Pray and pray and pray until God answers. And you must never give up on God. I saw my sister, you can also tell us how are you going to advise all our viewers out there, more special to those women that are still having the same challenges together with the people that they want to get married to in future. Um, all I can say is have faith in the Lord and always, um, always pray. Yeah, He always comes through for you. Uh, we thank God for our lives and I believe that this promise that God has, has made today is going to be fulfilled and will come back again to this place to glorify the goodness of God for what He's going to do in your relationship today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.